Howdy, welcome to Beaver Mountain Works. In this quick episode we're going to have for this week, we're going to talk about belts. Belts are a very important thing that we all use. We like to keep our pants up, and if uh, we all remember that uh, fantastic movie of uh, Emperor of the North, Hobos on the railway, belts keep you locked onto the top of the boxcar when you have to go to sleep when you're traveling along. I think a few folks might remember that. But moving on along about belts, I want to talk about quality of belts. You can find all kinds of belts everywhere, any store you walk into, but it's the quality of the merchandise that you're purchasing. And here at Beaver Mountain Works, what we try to do is we try to manufacture a belt that is durable, is going to do the job you want it to do, looks really good, and will last you almost a lifetime, if not a lifetime. This particular belt here <clears throat> was the first belt I made as a kid when I was doing leather smithing back in the late 60s, early 70s. I hand carved that one, stamped it. It was the very first one ever made up when I was living in the Yukon. And it's been around, and it's still real durable. And I wore this while I was in the service, and I even wore it after I got out of the service. I had to extend the holes on it, but it happened. So you can see a good leather belt is going to last you a long time if you look after it. This is the first beaded bone belt that I manufactured back at the end of the 80s. I used this thing for several years until I started to manufacture more of the type of beaded belts that we were doing here at um, Beaver Mount Works. This one here is about 20 years old. It was used every day by me going all over the place. So you can see it's got some wear and tear to it. But we made different versions of it. This is a one and a half. That's a one and one and a quarter. Different versions with different types of buckles. We're going to talk about buckles here in a bit. Different colors, different schemes, as you can see. So different varieties. People came to us. But enough about the beaded stuff. Let's talk about the stuff you're going to actually really use when you're out in the bush. When Belts that you need to use for practical use when you're hunting, fishing, you're camping, you're going out into the town all the time, working out at the job site. You want to have something that's going to be durable. So here at Beaver Mountain Works, we manufacture good, durable, thick. Even if they are a thinner type leather, it's a high quality leather that's going to have a good durability and length and time. This one here is our tactical belt. It's got decorative. It looks really good and fancy as well as it's reversible. And you can use it when you're out on the town or when you're at the shooting range. For our Scottish friends, we've got a Scottish belt. So I, I do all types of belts for reenactment gr groups. And uh, this one here is for the kilt. Do it in different colors. Do it in different thicknesses. <clears throat> as well as belts for like Belly boxes, you that do reenacting, you understand what I'm talking about. Good high quality, properly attached in the back. Speaking of attachments, back when I first started doing belts, I did like everyone else, and I used snaps. The problem with snaps is that they always like to tend to pop off or not work all the time. So what we've done in Beaver Mountain Works is we've gone to all our belts have Chicago screws. And the Chicago screw is nice because it doesn't come apart, especially when you're in the bush. If you're dealing with a dress belt, we'll use a snap. But when we're dealing with out in the bush and belts that you're going to use for actual work, we're going to use Chicago screws, two of them. That holds it in place. As you notice on this particular belt, it doesn't require a keeper. Because the belt is held in by the other end of the buckle. But some people don't like belt buckles like that. Some people like to have belt buckles <clears throat> that are like this. They're a single heel. And they want to have a keeper. So when we make our keepers, we make individual each individual keeper and we sew them together so that way they don't come apart. A lot of people staple them, but we actually sew them. We found that we have lots of customers that complain and 
they come apart when they're stapled like you get them when they're manufactured. Another type of uh, attachment, we did some of these up for some individuals. They wanted a different way to attach it. So we used a Sam Brown button. This particular individual, we did some up for him. And uh, he couldn't touch any metal. So we had to make it to where the metal disappeared. So he couldn't feel it in case his arm went onto it. This is one of the prototypes we did for him, and then we made several other ones for him. So as you can see, there's a big variety of different belts here. And we were talking about buckles here. The roller buckle is the heaviest, duty,est easiest buckle to use. We use these on our, <clears throat> our rigs that we manufacture for people for their rifle rigs. We also can upgrade your belts that you get from us when you, you order the GVPR. The prospector type belts. We use this particular type of uh, belt buckle, but we can upgrade it to a roller buckle, nice decorative one, because it's a lot heavier duty. And some people just want that extra bit to where they figure that they might be hanging from it. It's also easier to put on. Just a minimum charge upgrade. So I hope this area here of talking about belts and all and what goes in them has helped you and inspired you. Rule of thumb to remember, whatever your pant size is, you add two inches to your regular belt that goes on. Whatever your pant size is, you add four inches for your gun belts. So keep that in mind when you're ordering for Beaver Mountain Works. So hope you can um, find us online easily at beavermountainworks.com. Take care. If you want more of this, subscribe to our channel and please go check out beavermountainworks.com. Look at our products and we'd really love it if you sign up for our newsletter. Take care.